गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सिक्स होप यू ऑल आर हेल्दी एंड फाइन टुडे वी विल स्टडी लेसन वन कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस एज यू ऑल नो दैट कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस दैट टेक्स इनपुट फ्रॉम अस प्रोसेस इट एंड देन गिव्स अस रिजल्ट दीज कंप्यूटर आर कैटेगराइज इन टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स सो दीज टाइप्स आर माइक्रो कंप्यूटर मिनी कंप्यूटर मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर एंड सुपर कंप्यूटर माइक्रो कंप्यूटर दीज आर जनरल पर्पज कंप्यूटर विच वी यूज इन अवर डेली लाइफ लाइक डेस्कटॉप लैपटॉप टैबलेट्स एट्सेट्रा दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड पर्सनल कंप्यूटर और पी सी These are small in size and consume less power. Embedded systems these are present in a larger system and perform a specific task. These have all the essential components like RAM, ROM, CPU except keyboard and mouse. These are also called microcontrollers. mini computers these are larger than micro computers and have more processing speed they are quite expensive as compared to micro computers they perform multitasking and are used in banks universities hospitals etc where we need to store large amount of data then next we have main frame computer these computers are also called enterprise computers these computers are big in size and have large storage capacity these are used basically for weather forecasting air reservation etc then we have super computers these computers are the most powerful and expensive types of computer they are as big as the size of a room they work on the concept of parallel processing and they have a very high speed they are used for weather forecasting space exploration etc now in order to deal with these computer we have to learn computer language basically a computer language is made up of two digits 0 and 1 these languages are categorized into machine level language assembly level language high level language and fourth generation language machine language is directly understood by computer as it consists of only zeros and one it is also called binary language then we have assembly language in which beside zeros and ones few small abbreviations called mnemonics were used these mnemonics are short forms and they require assembler a language translator for execution high level language these languages use english words therefore these are easy for programmer but it is difficult for computer computer require translators like interpreter or compiler in order to convert these language into machine language fourth generation language these languages use icons or symbolic representations to give instructions these languages just tell the system what need to be done now as we have seen that when high level languages are used then computer requires 
language translators so these are also known as language processors these are of three types assembler which is used to convert assembly language into machine language then we have interpreter which converts high level language into low level language but it converts line by line then we have compiler which also converts high level language to low level language but it converts the whole program in one go compiler takes less time as compared to interpreter so class i hope that you must have understood different types of computers and different types of computer languages along with language translators thank you class